Wir müssen die Rolle jauen. So you put it in already? No, I don't believe it. I shall tell everybody, come and let her do this. Huh? No, I, I honestly did not feel that. Are you sure that we see? Oh, as I said before, it was effortless. It was amazing. Um, it's probably even less stressful than some other vaccinations or injections that you go to the doctor's office to get. For example, it's far far less stressful than having, say, blood drawn from your from your arm. Okay, you had a close care with the lady. Did someone in your household like positive COVID-19? What was that experience like? Well, you, you know, see, happen? when I was told that one of our police officers had contracted it, um, I don't panic. I hardly ever panic about anything because I believe that there is a response for practically everything. And if you panic first, then you, it's like if you're drowning and you panic, whether you can swim or not, you're going to drown. Um, in those circumstances, when I was informed that the police officer had tested positive, I just gathered all the staff together and told them that we must all be tested. Fortunately for us, they came right away. We were all tested. We got our results back. And I also thought that, well, obviously, the place would have to be sanitized, um, following the protocols. So we moved out of the, um, out of the government house. And then five days later, we had the second test. And, you know, having had the second test and proved negative, I can breathe a sigh of relief. And when I heard that the vaccine was coming, I made sure that I informed the authorities that I wanted to be, if not first in line, third or fourth or fifth. And I am grateful that they listened, and I have had my first dose of the vaccine, and I look forward to getting my second dose. Why did you do that? Well, I, I chose to do it publicly because, you know, people are generally um, doubtful, all right? Mm -hmm. And um, if it had been said, oh, Her Excellency Dean Sandra Matt Mason was vaccinated today, um, was vaccinated today, somebody will say, oh, oh yeah, so how come um, these other people all over the world did it and, you know, it was shown in the press and so I wanted everyone to not to, to trust my word that I had it, that it was it was a seamless um, exercise. It was a painless exercise. Um, I don't know if the um, the needle is smaller than other needles that you normally get, but I felt absolutely nothing. But as I said, I'm a realist. I if something has to be done, it has to be done. And perhaps what I can do is take this opportunity to thank the government of India through, I know, our, our Honourable Prime Minister, she's done it already, so I want to add my thanks to the government of India because we are one little speck in the, in the ocean and for them to have thought that we could be, you know, in line for this. We are forever grateful. And I would want her also to add my thanks to her to the government of India for having um, uh, permitted and allowed us to, to get this. I can only say that I am very happy, I'm ecstatic almost, to have received the, the vaccination and I hope many of, Barb many of our Barbadians will follow suit. You have your reservations, um, you have your concerns, sit and speak with your health professional. Do not necessarily go to the internet and look at all the, um, all the literature that's there and of course in every instance you're going to have the for and you're going to have the against situation. I was brought up on that as, a, as an attorney at law. You have the defense and you have the, the plaintiff. So um, after you have mulled it over and you've listened to your health professionals and you've listened to your conscience and you've listened to your God, 
do what you want to do, which I hope is good to that soon.